Prime Norman Jr. finally look impressive since signing the top rank against Quentin Randall. Two undefeated fighters fighting at welterweight. Somebody oh got to go. Let's do this fight prediction in this video. So, um, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And I'm also live Sunday mornings with Sangin' OG. KQKC Boxing Network Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Time. And uh, if you want to debate or something like that, man, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email. And you can also um, join the channel as a member. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and videos that we do. And, um, you know, let's get it cracking, though. So, Brian Norman Jr. has had two fights on his top-ranked contract. Both went the distance, and he didn't look overly impressive in either one of them. Won them clearly, but this the silent assassin. This the one they told me was doing Tank Davis dirty and sparring. This the one they say, like, knock, like knocked down and almost knocked out. Terrence Crawford and sparring. That's who Brian Norman Jr. supposed to be at 22 years old. Orthodox fighter. Five foot eight, 72 inch arm reach out of Georgia. Georgia. 24 wins, no losses, 19 wins by way of knockout. He going up against Quentin Randall. H Town. H Town, Houston, Texas, stand up. 33 years old, Orthodox fighter. 5 foot 11, 13 wins, no losses, one draw. Three wins by way of knockout. Um, Quinn Randall, lead hand low, nice one, two. Gets high, you know what I'm saying? Tries to evade punches by like leaning back, which is always bad in boxing. You don't want to lean back. You want to step back or you want to get under and use head movement or you want to use your high guard. You want to pair shots away. You don't never want to try to. Try to lean back to get away from shots. It's a bad move, but he does that a lot. And he carries his lead hand low, and he ain't fast enough to do that shit. I don't be understanding why I fight, bro. I don't mean to go on the rent, but guys like Quentin Randall, when I watch them and I study them, I'm like, bro, you're not fast enough. Your reflexes ain't what you think they are for you to be fighting with your hands low and shit and acting like you slick and fast and all that. I don't. Too many people be watching the all-time greats and be mimicking them, but they do what they do because they are who they are. If you're not that, you need to be relying on fundamentals. Your hands need to be in the proper place. Your guard need to be tight. Your fundamentals need to be on point. How you going to be lacking fundamentals and you ain't got the speed or the reflexes or the talent to, to make it work for you? I don't understand, bro. It's very confusing watching guys like Quentin Randall, but nonetheless, a good solid one-two, um, a tough guy, um, a, a pretty good jab, um, and you know, just just a, a pretty good standard boxer. Then you got Brian Norman Jr., strong physically, carrying a lot of muscle. I worry about his gas tank. He be looking a little tired, and even going eight rounds is the first ten-round fight. I'm be looking at the, if the fight get to the back half. I'm going to be looking like, is your output the same? Do you got the same uh, on your punches? What you looking like? Um, really good, strong jab. Um, sometimes he, when he gets to throwing combinations, he slap with his shots. But if he just plant them feet and throw one shot at a time, two shots at a time, bitches got some oomph to him. One thing I do notice is a lot of people is high on Brian Norman Jr. And I ain't saying be high on him, don't be high on him. But he be looking a little stiff, bro. He look a little stiff in the ring, man. You know, it's not fluid. It's, it's, it's like, ah, yeah, I'm punching hard. Ugh. Throw this jab out there hard. Ugh. It ain't fluid. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't It ain't that. It's, it's more like you can tell, like, he putting something in him. Now, he, they, 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 they jab in the last fight, knocking old buddy head back. When he throwing them hooks and uppers and shit, he, you know, he knocking, he, he knocking shit off, but... He just look a little, a little stiff. Is he, especially, bro, he fighting at welterweight. So when you start being like, all right, Brian Norman, okay, cool, yeah. Can I, what, what I think with him and Virgil Ortiz? Food. <laughs> what I think with him and, um, Jerome Boots in the food. 
Charles Conwell eventually won for food. Food. Food, bro. I don't know if there's a way he can loosen up. I don't know if there's a way he could, you know what I'm saying, get some fluidity to his game and shit. But he looks, homie looks stiff out there, man. Shout out Georgia, man. Shout out my homie right side. I'm just saying, bro, what I see. But that's him. Big puncher, stiff in the ring, strong jab. He he goes into a shoulder roll, but the roll and the and the way that he try to evade punches and shit, like he he was getting caught. Like little little homie from from Mexico that just had a cerveza over here. He was over here, like right here at this bar that I'm looking at, bro. He, he was having the cerveza over there. He got in there and fought Brian jo Norman Jr. Was able to get a couple rounds, have some success. Norman hitting him with clean shots and shit. Can't get him out of there. And that's the other thing, like. This power, this dude that's thumping, this dude that's cracking, is hitting so hard. Ever since you signed the top rank, dude's been going the distance with you, bro. And ain't nothing wrong with getting in rounds, but your reputation preceded you. You was on the YouTube doing the interviews. They was talking about what you were doing to Terrence Cropper with 16s on. They were talking about what you were doing to Tank with 16s on. I just don't see it. I don't see it, bro. But this is an opportunity to show me against an undefeated fighter in Quentin Randall. As far as who I'm who I'm picking or paths to victory, I think Quentin Randall got ahead of fight in his life. I think Brian Norman Jr.'s jab is stiffer, is better, his hands are faster than Quentin Randall. So I think he should have get there first. Quentin Randall will have to rely on his height, move around the ring. Jab and move, jab and move. He can't get in the pocket with, with Brian Norman Jr., who's a stronger puncher, stronger fighter physically, and he can really wear on him and, and maul him out. And um I want like the if you get if you want to talk about the styles, because Brian Norman Jr., he got this one style where he just go at you and just land in big powerful shots and he trying to come get your ass up out of there. That's that's if you go look at his first fight on top rank, that's how he fought. His second fight on top rank, this most recent one, is the jabbing and shit. So he showed kind of different styles. Me, personally, if you physically strong like him, you got to go to your strengths, bro. Like, I don't want to see him outboxing. I don't want to see him just jabbing. Bro, he going to have to go in there and he going to have to go. I want to see him go get that dude. I want to see him go with Quinn Randall and just go get him. And, 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 and I want to see the because. If he's going to be successful like his fans say he is, bro, he's only 22 years old, I think his success is going to lie in going to get dudes. I don't think, because I was talking about how stiff he is, I don't think he ever going to be this slick dude that can outbox dudes at the highest level, that can, you know what I mean, that can that can outthink them and all that shit. He going to have to be one of them dudes that come get you. Got a good, strong, stiff jab. He going to have to come get you similar to how Earl Spence tried to come get you. He gonna have to come get you similar to how Virgil try to come get you. He's gonna have to come get you, have good solid defense, and you can see that in his first fight at um in his first fight at top rank. That's the type of style I want to see. I don't want to see him in between styles, trying to shoulder roll, back foot boxing, moving around the ring, jabbing and shit. That ain't that ain't playing to his strength in my opinion. So I'm gonna be looking to see how he fight. I'm gonna pick it to go the distance though. I, he gonna he gonna have to show me. He gonna have to show me that he, somebody like Quentin Randall, who's good at surviving, who's an undefeated fighter, who's long, who got a good jab, who got a good solid defense. Show me that you know how to that, that you can get him out of there before I just pick you to stop him, bro. He need to show me, and I and, and I prefer an aggressive style. If he's boxing off his back foot and all of that shit, I'm 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 kind of I'm be looking like nah, bro. I don't, I don't think that's you. I don't think that's your path to being great or your path to being world champion one day. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this fight. I'm picking Brian Norman Jr. by decision because I think he's going to be caught in between that, that aggressive coming forward, trying to get you up out of their style and caught in between jabbing and trying to move and trying to work on his skills. He's going to be caught in between those styles. He's still 22 years old, trying to find himself, trying to see what his style is going to be and all that shit. But, um... He got he got room to grow, man. He's young. He over there at top rank. They're gonna give him some developmental fights. They're gonna keep trying to build him, see what he can be. And um, you know, 
We'll see what happens. But in this fight with Quentin Randall, I got Brian Norman Jr. by decision. Um, if he stops him, I'll be surprised. But, um, well, I won't be surprised. If he stops him, it'll be because he came out and he just went after him, bro. If he don't stop him, it's going to be because you see him trying to move around and box and all that shit. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Who you picking in this fight? I'm going with decision. Mainly not because I don't think Brian Norman Jr. hit hard enough or he can't get Quentin Randall out of there. I'm... I'm going with decision because I see that he's in between styles and he's really trying to still figure out how he want to fight. Trying to prove he can box and not really being committed to, man, I'm going here to get dudes out of there. I'm banging dudes out. I'm working on my skill, but my main thing is I want to hit you. I want to hit you hard. I want to hit you anywhere I can. Arms, chest, body, head. I'm just I'm just trying, trying to walk through shit. I think that's the route that he needs to go because when I seen him fighting like that, them sparring stories, that's how they say he go. Well, that you, you, you supposedly was having success against high-level fighters at the highest level when you were fighting like that. So why, when the lights get bright, you try to do this boxing shit and try to move around and not be as aggressive and not throw as many punches and shit? So that's what I'm going to be looking for. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like button. We going with Norman Jr. by decision on this one. Shout out H-Town, Quentin Randall. But, man, I got I to gotta pick against you on this one. Now, go prove me wrong. I'm going to give you props. See y'all soon. Peace out.